Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banner Saga. I think we're on part 7 now. And we're back with Ubin and uh, Tacon and all those great guys. Now we're talking to some guy named Moger. I think I met him before, but I can't remember. Alright. I was able to get about as many warriors from Strand as you wanted, and more weapons. Extra supplies, too. Oh, sweet. You perk up just now realizing Moger has been talking to you. Since Volgniar died, everyone has been looking to make your... Looking to you to make the decisions. It's exhausting. Hakon? Sorry, just tired. Go on. I was saying the Varl we sent to Strand have returned. The governor gave us most of what we wanted. Good enough. Much resistance from the governor? Some. I don't think he was happy about us buying his fighters using his own money. He also insisted we take on Lackey of his to watch over his property. And man named Eirik... Eirik, I met him. He seemed competent enough. Regardless, the governor will have to get over it unless he wants to dredge crawling through his streets. We have, we've we put down every slag that has wandered through here while you were gone. Enough flapping of the mouth, then. Nyeh. You're sure that wound has healed, Luden? You sound even snarkier than before. I agree. Enough has already gone wrong. If something happens to the prince on a mission of peace, the alliance would rot. Or worse. Ah. Uh, oh, I hope I didn't mess up the mic with that. Alright, um, hmm. Uh, Luden can choose to stay if he wants, I guess. We would only be made to do this again later, and I will not suffer it all a second time. Either take us through the wandering road, or do your job and slaughter some dredge. Hmm. Luden turns abruptly with a scowl. He stamps back to his ring of tents and followers. Wandering roads, not an option with this many. I could crush that boy's skull with one hand. If Luden won't be deterred, you'll have to deal with it. Don't let Luden get to you. Let's go, I'm sick of looking at this dump. What do I tell the warriors, Hakon? Let's be cautious. We'll do. Give the word and we'll set off. Is there like a like big battlefield aspect to this game also, in addition to the smaller turn-based skirmish stuff? So we got a map, we can leave, we got heroes. Let's see if we can level anybody up. Can we level anybody up? I don't think so. I'll just move him onto there. No? Alright. Alright, then uh, we see what the map has to say. If we change our destination or something. Is it loading? Did it crash? Why are your games crash so much? Okay. I guess we don't really need to see that much down here. Let's just go ahead and go. Okay. Look at that, says Moger. In the hills, Mordrich. No more than a dozen, though. We could just as easily pass by as rush up there to slaughter them. That's a dozen dredge heading towards Strand. Uh... He says, you ask him when he started to care about Strand. I don't. I thought you did. Um, uh, Moger, send some warriors to him. Hopefully they'll be able to catch back up to the caravan. Has been, he rushes off to find some volunteers. Luna's men are not to ask you return to travel. Okay. Hack on! You can hear Luden's hard-booted trot as you set up camp the first day. Embrace yourself. Can we speak as equals? We can try. It seems clear to me that you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way. Am I right? Uh, you're not wrong. Then listen carefully. Don't assume only the Vald can fight. Do you understand me? It's my banner we fly to Grofheim, the banner of Abering. I insist on joining in battle. Almost got it in your first encounter and ready for more. Whatever you like, Prince. 
And, uh, I expected more resistance. From Vognir, maybe. They tell me you were his kinder. That's why you're in charge now. Some sort of next of kin Varl thing? Don't you take on his responsibilities? In my own way. Then stop acting like I'm a thorn in your side. Oh, is he actually acting kind of mature? When you're nearly 200 years old, it's hard to take a 20-year-old man. Is that right? Seriously. You better start. We'll both be kings someday. That's the last thing I need to think about right now. Ulun looks at you as, the, as though you just punched yourself in the face. He heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. Okay. You've gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't overlook this important stat. Exertion allows you to add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star? Upgrade to three. Adds a little three space further than usual if you got the willpower for it. This stat's equally important. Um... Can't level up anybody, right? Don't want to do training. Don't particularly want to rest, I don't think. Let's just keep going. This is the... Okay, so this Hmm. You overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm happy to stomp some slags as much as the next Varl, but I didn't join up to take orders from Hakon, says one. Apparently he doesn't realize within, you're within uh, earshot. Not willing to die from... Uh, either. Your presence home, but we walk on. Blindside him? I suppose that would... Uh... If I'm to be king, I need to know when to be subtle. Not sure Vognir would have been happy to hear that, you growl loudly. The Varl flinches as you walk past without looking in his direction. In the distance, you can hear his friend laughing at his misfortune. Yeah, that seems to have been a, the wise decision. Oh, okay, more stuff. A small gathering of tents come into view, a group of merchants from the look of it. You ask why they're doing here. We're camped at the Godstone. The head, one tells you, leave an offering to Dingler, as one does. His expression turns. Dredge start appearing out of nowhere. Some are stayed. Thought the Godstone would be safe, but damned if I know why. We've been dodging them since we left. Uh, hmm, hmm. Let's see if they have any trade. Not much. Um, anything of value, we left the Godstone. Never seen so many Varl in one place before. You're off to deal with those dredge? You not. We can part with some supplies if you need them. We have enough. We got like 73 days. As you like. If you're passing Dingler Stone, I have a request, though. My wife's brother stayed behind. You'll know him by the necklace with many gold strings. If you see him, say we're safely on the strand. You agree, and the merchants continue onward. One thing I do like about this game is there's so much stuff that keeps on happening. I don't have a whole lot of time for commentary. And well, that's good from, like, if I don't have a whole lot to say. See, like, now, nah, that was, like, 30 seconds. Alright, anyway. Uh, the caravan slows unexpectedly. Word travels down the line. Then Mulgir, who tells you, Dredge know we're coming, probably saw us back at Vetterfell and did their usual lurking. Could've been bad if we plied into them, but we saw them first. Dredge watch you, waiting to see what you do. What's the last time you can t mounted a few hundred? Hack on, asked Mulgir. Don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. Or, when you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you'll engage in war. Give your armies some orders to fit the situation, but be prepared to get your own hand in hand theory, too. By making battle easier for yourself, you'll end up with higher casualties. Or you can take the burden on yourself with a harder battle, but save more lives if you're... Excuse me. If you're ever desperately outnumbered, it may be best to run, avoiding battle completely. Uh, you have 145... 40, ah, 185 fighters and 456 moral at your five side. Even from here, you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks, but they're dredge. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, let's, let's fucking charge him. It's taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you into the thick of battle, uh, but a strong charge can save lives. And uh, I'm. Formations. Hmm. You start comparing, saying, if you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. And then hold them off would be the... Take the brunt of the attack. Hmm. So it looks like this has the highest... Okay, let's just uh, do formations. Yeah. That way we won't kill off too many... Uh, people. Ooh, better see. Who the hell is Yursa? 
Who the hell is yours? And I don't know much about. All right. So Gunnel, uh, Gunnel kicks ass. Uh, I know that. One thing I do find is interesting is it's not always a good idea to keep your party like maxed out, because it's like the worms thing, like uh, in the worms game. All right, one second. Sorry, let me just start off the battle and then. Uh, do I wanna? I have no interest in archers. Sorry. But yeah, like, in Worms, uh, the fewer characters you have, the more likely it, it'll be that you'll get to play as a character, or have a turn with a character who, uh, needs to go next, you know? Okay, um, let's see. Ooh, this is very pleasant music. Humans can take on those two. And then the Varl. Aw, oh, that's all. The Varl can take on the rest. Wait, so, meh. Um, let's just move you back. There we go. Let's try this out. I'm gonna be patient with him this turn. Let the enemy come to me. Aha! And so it is. Do I need to... Oh, well, I might as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, bring the... What is his special will do? Break damage to target, plus one to return the favor. Getting hit triggers a counterattack for one, uh, one armor damage. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Let's try that. Oops. Let's try that out. Okay. So, then... Nah, that's okay. Okay, then you head over here. Tempest will allow me to hit lots of people. Let's just start breaking down that armor. Okay, and then you. We need you to start beating up on this guy. What does Rally do again? Uh, gives two willpower to any ally at any range. That's pretty good. But let's just start breaking armor for now. Oh! Man, that ability is weird, but I wish I had it. Alright, let's see. And then you. We should take advantage of your speariness. Move over there. What did some pale do? Knock back one tile, target bleeds one strength per move on next turn. Alright, well that guy doesn't really need to move. So he's probably not going to... So let's just break his armor. Oh, this thing again. All right, so we could do. All right, we could just kill off that guy. I think that might be best. Bam! Okay then. Hmm. What is with everyone's armor damage being so low? Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, they took out half his health in one hit. Brutal. Totally not cool. Alright, let's see. So let's just do a regular old attack. Okay. Can't do much now. I'm gonna... Run away with Gunnel for now. <laughs> Alright, and then he's gonna take some damage. Aha! That worked well for me. Alright, so let's see. Um, does this guy have a bow? Nope, he's just got an axe, not like Rook or whatever. Alright, so let's see. Um, anyone really badly need willpower? Because I don't want to go out charging him by himself. All right, let's see. Who has the lowest willpower? He's got five willpower. Oh, wait, no. Three willpower. Come on, select him. He's got four willpower, four out of four willpower, two out of three, one out of four. All right. You have some willpower. Yeah. No! 
That's a shame. All right, let's see. <laughs> I like the way he runs. All right, anyway. Um, kill grants the spearmen and adjacent allies one willpower and knock back one tile. Yeah, let's knock him back. Oh. Do, do I have to be adjacent to them for that one? I don't know. Let's just knock down. I mean, it certainly wasn't working. Ah, uh, not gun Oh, when the music swells. Oh, boy. These dredge stone guard are... Are they the stone guard? Yeah, they're the stone guard. They're kicking our asses. So let me see. Who has the lowest armor right now? It would be him. What's his ability? Sundering impact. Plus 100% to hit. Plus 1 strength. Plus 1 break to target. Plus 1 point break to heavy impact. And he's chasing to the target. Taking strength damage. Hell yeah. We are sundering this fella. I'm okay with that, honestly, since it did the same amount of damage to that guy. Yeah. Come on. Oh, come on! Oh, we need to raise your exertion, buddy. Yeah, one damage. Okay. Okay, so that guy is low on health. Let's just run up here. Ooh, that guy's low on health, too. And we'll call that the end of your turn. Oh. Back up. And... Impale. This fight is not going well for me. Alright, so let's see who's in the worst shape as him. Can I get over there? No. Uh, God, their armor is not breaking fast enough. My armor is breaking fast enough because they're, they're that thing. Yeah. Fuck that move. Bam! Alright, well that's one of the stone guard. Now there's two. I outnumber them two to one, even though uh, I'm all beaten up and stuff. Run, 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 and... Oh, come on. Alright, you know what? Wait. There we go. Yeah! I don't even know what I did there. But, but the rally horn didn't restore... What? That doesn't make any sense. At least I can do some damage to him now. Do I want to break him for one more, or do three? I'd rather do three. Yeah. Get fucked. Uh-oh. And he returned the favor. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no point in wasting willpower now. I'll just, uh... Wouldn't be able to get to him this turn anyway. Ooh, that looks like that hurt. Okay. And... Wait, what's your strength? Mogur is 6 out of 10. I do half the damage now, and then Mogur can do the rest, I guess. Keep on doing that. That is perfect. And it just lowers armor so someone else can do more damage. Uh, that is... I'm okay with that, actually. Only two? Come on, buddy! God, I hate how lowering strength lowers damage, too. Okay, well, we're gonna win this, if only through sheer attrition and pillage mode. So do you do more damage when attacking from behind? Yeah. Right, let's just... there we go. Let's just break all of his armor off. There we go! Oh, Jesus, breaking someone's armor completely just opens them up to damage. You take a moment to survey the battlefield, the enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. 
This could take this up. You take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, change it, chasing down more dredge with rally fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might reveal items they took from. Kill a few more as they flee. Attacking a dredge is still brave enough to face. Oh, Jesus! I didn't know there was going to be more. I guess I should have. Ah, shit. Oh, God. We are so fucked. I thought it was going to be the end. Oh, no. Okay. And we're just going to try and have everybody rest. I don't know if that will restore strength or not, but I hope it does. I hope to God it does. Um, can't use your ability. Wait. Now you can. Who has the lowest willpower? Ogre. Luden does. Hey, Luden. I feel a little bit better now. Okay, so Luden's armor is full, at least. I don't think that resting restores your strength, unfortunately. I think it just restores your willpower. Alright, we'll give him one more turn to advance. You know what? No, can't do that. Um, yeah, that just restores willpower. That was literally a waste of a turn. Uh... Oh man, this is a desperate fight indeed. I'm gonna have him rest just so he has a little bit of willpower to work with. Hmm, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Hmm. This is not good. I think we might be able to pull through, but only barely. Oh yeah, I can't attack diagonally. I forgot about that whole thing. God, my armor damage is shit! Oh, God. God, I'm just not doing enough damage. Oh, and no longer it. Oh, God, I, I've lost. I'm sorry, guys. I've lost. <sighs> Alright, well, I'll fight this to the end, and then this episode's over. Okay. So wait, does the game continue on? You black out as you fall and come and get two again amongst the warriors who were able to escape the battle. They've carried you from the scene. You've lost a lot of good warriors. Not much to do left, but now. Okay, so now I know what happens if you continue the fight. I'm never, probably never going to do that again. All right, well, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.